Hi there, my name is Chris and welcome back to my sewing channel, Sew Note. Alright, on today's video I'm talking about my top 5 misses of 2019, all inspired by the Socialists blog. So here we go, starting up with number 5. Number 5 is the memory quilt that I was supposed to make for my mom, hoping to have it done by the Christmas that just passed, but that's just a project that I cannot, I need time lots of time to work on that project so I will show you a picture of one of the blocks that I was working on um, I'm hoping to start again in the next month all right for number four number four is the Samantha dress by AK patterns now I don't want to discourage anyone from sewing any of these patterns that I've listed on my top five misses they are a miss to me because I either never finished them, I, the fit didn't, I wasn't happy with the fit, or it was because of my fabric choice. So for the Samantha dress pattern, I did the dress version with the tie sleeves, and I found the tie sleeves to just be a little bit too tight for me. I love wearing the dress, but every time I put it on, the sleeve ties feel a little bit too tight, and I always think to myself, I'm going to cut the sleeves off, make it a short sleeve, and just hem it, but I never get around to it. So I'm hoping this year I'm going to get around to hemming, to cutting off those sleeve ties and giving that uh, sleeve a hem so I could wear it more comfortably. So that's number four. Number three is the Heidi Day Dress by Wearable Patterns. And this is on my miss list because the fabric I chose. I chose a floral fabric with a black background and this is more of a summer dress. And for summer I don't typically like wearing black background fabrics. I like wearing light pinks, oranges, yellows, blues. Um, not really black in the summertime. So this was simply an error on my part of choosing the black background for the fabric. Other than that, the dress is comfortable. It's such a great dress for the summer. I could also see you making a version for the winter or fall and layering it, layering it with a turtleneck or something. So yeah, don't, don't count these patterns out because they're on my miss list. They're just on my miss list because of the fabric choices or just the way it fit. Number two is a Berta style jump suit pattern. It is 102 and then it's 07 slash 2017. That pattern, I love the pattern, but I tried sewing it up in a slippery polyester fabric and I just wasn't feeling it, so I never finished it. However, I plan on making one out of rayon come summer 2020. So this is still on my make list. I just didn't like the the fabric that I was using. I was trying to make a practice one with polyester fabric and it just wasn't working out in my favor. So that is why that one's on my miss list. And number one, it's not a pattern, it's not a project, it is simply a sewing challenge of the Make 9 2019 sewing challenge. I only managed to sew two items from my Make 9 and it was my first time attempting the Make 9, so I'm going to attempt the Make 9 again, but I know um, a different method on how to choose those nine patterns. Um, I'm going to choose nine patterns that I want to like get going on right now while the motivation is there. I can't really pick a pattern I'm going to sew it in December, 12 months from now. So that's where I think I went wrong with making my first Make 9 challenge. So I will try it again but it just didn't work out this time. So just a recap, number five was the memory quilt, number four 
was the Samantha dress by AK Patterns. Number three is the Heidi Day dress by Wearable Patterns. Number two is the Berta Style jumpsuit. And number one is my Make 9 challenge. So these are my misses of 2019. Please let me know in the comments if any of these misses uh, were any of your favorites. Were you surprised to see any of these on my miss uh, list? Um, coming up next will be my goals for 2020, which I will post in the next couple of days. So until then, Happy New Year. Enjoy your evening with family and friends, and I will see you in 2020.